Good afternoon. We will be doing chapter 6, Fallacies, part 8. Here we will be studying fallacy of Petitio Principi, that is begging the question. Petitio Principi is a fallacy of proof rather than inference. Here it, it should be noted that the premise is not logically irrelevant to the truth of the conclusion. But the premise is logically irrelevant to the purpose of proving or establishing the conclusion. Petitio Principi is popularly known as begging the question. The expression begging the question makes it clear that which is to be proved is taken for granted. Example, to give charity to beggars is right because it is the duty to be charitable. Here, the premise contains the conclusion. So, the fallacy of petitio principi is committed. It takes two sub forms. Hysteron proteron. In hysteron proteron, there is direct assumption. Here, the fallacy is committed in a single step of inference by use of synonym. That means the reason given, that is the premise, merely repeats the statement to be proved that is the conclusion, but in different words having the same meaning. See here in this picture you can see he says the soul is immortal since it lives forever. Immortal means only living forever, means only it does not die. That only means it is immortal. <clears throat> so there are Two different words having the same meaning. Let us take few examples. This cloth is transparent because we can see through it. So here the fallacy of hysteron proteron is committed because in this example the premise we can see through the cloth repeats the conclusion that the cloth is transparent in different words having the same meaning. Second, the wind is invisible because we can never see it. This is also a fallacy of hysteron proteron because in this example, the premise that is we can never see wind repeats the conclusion that the wind is invisible in different words having the same meaning. Let us take the third example. These documents are authentic because they are factual. Here also the fallacy of hysteron proteron is committed because the premise repeats the conclusion in different words having the same meaning. Authentic means only factual. The second way of begging the question is arguing in circles. In the fallacy of arguing in circles or vicious circle, the premise that is assumed is not the conclusion itself, but it is something whose proposition depends on the conclusion. Here the subject of the premise becomes the predicate of the conclusion and vice versa. The logical form of this fallacy is P is true because Q is true and Q is true because P is true. It's like vicious circle. If A, then B and if B, then A. Let us take few examples. Monica is famous. Therefore, she is a film. She is in film industry. Monica is in film industry. Therefore, she is famous. In this example, the premise that is Monica is famous 
therefore she is in film industry repeats itself as a conclusion monica is in film industry therefore she is famous but in a roundabout manner second example healthy mind implies healthy body and healthy body implies healthy mind this is also the fallacy of arguing in circles because your the premise that is healthy mind implies healthy body repeats itself as the conclusion healthy body implies healthy mind but in a round about manner let us take the third example god must exist because the vedas say so and what vedas say must be true because they are the words of god you are also the fallacy of arguing in circles is committed because the premise repeats the conclusion in round about manner the subject of the premise becomes the predicate of the conclusion and the predicate of the premise becomes the subject of the conclusion so we have understood the fallacy of begging the question they are taking two forms one is histeron proteron and the other is arguing in circles thank you